God. Yeah. What is happening over there? <coughs> oh, you know what we're missing? We're missing the white screen on the TV. Yeah, we are. Josh, can you grab that remote that's right uh, underneath them sheets <laughs> oh right there? God. Please. Just the closest. Oh. They're under the sheets. Right there. <coughs> Should be near the head. There it is. Grab it. There's other things that are white under them yeah. sheets, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of stains. That's why we keep it face down. All right. Look, look. we got to get to YouTube. I keep your mother face down. <laughs> oh, you, dude. I, are we playing games? No, nah, we're putting it on fucking white. No, are we playing games? Oh, no, not tonight, no. Because August? Uh, part Guess of who's gay? <laughs> yeah. Guess who's gay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you, can you like die quieter? Dude, I got a tickle. Jeez, uh, you can't, can't get mad at a man with a tickle now. I got a, <clears throat> a frickle, throat tickle. A throat tickle. Yeah. I've been listening to Cameron Haynes' podcast all day with Levi Morgan. Uh huh. Have you heard it? Uh huh. I've seen it, but I haven't heard it or nothing. Dude, this Levi Morgan's nuts. Oh, yeah. Look at this 24 hours of pure white. Why the hell would you want that unless you're like the CIA trying to interrogate people in Guantanamo Bay? Dude, I bet, that, I bet you make money off that. Oh, oh you yeah, know they dude. do. You want to know how much money they made? Dude, $52 million on a 24-hour long white screen. For five years? Yeah, $52 million in five years, what would that monetize? $10 to? million. Dude, probably, yeah, millions. millions. Millions of dollars? Yeah. Really? Yeah, just, just from a white screen, I'm telling you. Millions of dollars. Because <laughs> people are watching it. What if I post going a through 24-hour... Picture of my white ass. You could. Dude, if you had 24 million people watching, that'd be a lot. I think we make a lot of money off of Josh's calendar. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. This <laughs> one calendar. The calendar. All right, well, this is the Clueless <clears throat> 2 podcast. That was a little bit of an intro there for you. We've been oh, uh, recording for a while, boys. I don't know <laughs> if you know that. How long? Uh, we got uh, We were, you know, putting our white screen up. We got uh, Def August. Sadly, he's not here tonight. <laughs> Hurts our hearts, but uh, he's he's no longer with us, as far as we know. So, um, his seat's empty. We got his mic just sitting there. We don't know where he is. We might know where he is. Oh, I know where he is. We got a uh, we got Joshua. You gonna say hello? Hello. People are still listening Prost. as well. And then we got Cardo. Howdy, howdy, folks. Cardo's got his beer in remembrance of August over there. Yeah, it's uh, sitting in his his, uh, his spots, keeping my beer cold. It's like the Methodist Church, you know. When someone leaves, you drink. That's what they do. I don't. Really? I don't yeah. think. Is that a wine. thing? You drink wine, you know, when someone dies, you drink wine. I've never. Well, I'm not Methodist. So I've grown up. I, I grew up Methodist. I don't. We, we used to go to the same church. So I know the Methodists you know. The Moreland Methodist is a little different. Brandon, I've never seen you. In that church. Dude, I, you know why you don't see me? Because I'm in the front row, and you're up in the balcony up there with your binoculars. No. And you're like, oh, church, no. look at the no. phenomenon we're looking at here. No, 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 not a chance. Yeah. I think y'all I went to noon, church. Y'all went to Noonan? Yeah. Y'all. We, uh, no, no. No, not no, you. I said then, y'all. It's family. Uh, yeah, come on now. Get with the program. Yes, we did go there. You think for a while. Well, this is a biology major. <laughs> he ain't mm-hmm. there. He said, me and my family. <clears throat> and I said, y'all. I wasn't listening to that. Yeah. No, I know you didn't go. No. no. Satan. No, no, no. Josh, you didn't go to a lot of church. Did you You came for the fun part of church, which I, I can't dish you for. I mean, you know? we went to the, the church across the street Yeah. when I was younger. And then we're like, oh, all my friends go to that church over there, the bunch of plebeians. <laughs> so I guess I'll go hang out with them over at this one. But we all know that they're wrong. Did you ever, did your church ever get mad at you for hanging out with the enemy? Who's wrong? Because weren't we the enemy? Are Baptists and Methodists not at war say. constantly? No. 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 I thought, no. is that not what's going on in uh, fucking Israel? No. Baptists and Methodists? No. That's pretty much the same Muslims thing. Muslims and, and uh, Jews. That's the, that's the, uh, the, Hot sh- the Shini and the, the Sunni and, and Shiite. The Sunni and Shiites. That's in the Middle East, though. I guess in like Iraq, Iran, isn't it? I thought that was that they was. squashed their deal, man. They're all Muslims. 
They had like a pilgrimage over there, like where the pilgrims came and they came together and they came over on the boats, but they're not boats. They're just like raggedy ass war tanks. They got camels. They all like they all follow. We are uh, calm. Do y'all follow World Atlas on Instagram? I don't believe so. Now, World what Atlas is it? Three. Uh, they uh, post a lot of they post a lot of stuff that like goes on in the world, and I think the Israelis were showing like a they were having like a convoy or something, and they had a Quran the size of this house on top of a truck. <laughs> Did so, it have like real words in it? Yeah, or was it just like the outer? I, you know, I don't know. I assume it was a real Quran. Dude, it'd be badass if they had a midget up there, like, orchestrating, like, reading it to make it look even bigger, and they're just, like, reading it as they're going into battle. Dude, a midget would not make it look any bigger, dude. It, it was on they top would. of a truck. Midgets make everything look bigger. But it was on top of, like, a deuce and a half. Imagine a midget on top of that. You're like, oh, my God, dude, that's 300 feet tall. It was big. You should look it up. But why, though? Why were they parading they around were, this Quran were, on a truck? They were, they were just parading around the Quran. Parading, I, you know what? I can't, I can't remember if it was. I can't remember if it was. Was it the Muslims or was it the Jews? I'll tell you though. I mean, it, think about all the times that a, a midget has made something look a taller. A midget makes things look taller. Yes, it happens. It really is. I just like watching those videos where it's like midgets doing things and like they like trip and fall, but it's like a little squeaky see, toy noise. I want to see. Beep. I want to see midget wrestling. It's in Yemen. Damn it, dude. And Quran mounted K R A Z sixty three twenty two, fucking deuce and a half. That's a with big a book. Giant. It looks like I think that it's a page turner, bro. I think it. I think you can turn it. And the, dude, they were. It's uh it says alongside other various military equipment and weapons, mostly drones and rockets, at the Houthi military parade in Sana, Yemen. Hmm. Yeah. Atlas News 3, y'all. Follow it. It's a good page. Is there any reason for us ever to go to Yemen? Is there anything good in Yemen that we'd be like, let's go see that? Oil? oil. Yeah, lots I'm of oil. I'm talking about us, personally. Oh, not like us? Uh, America. And you like, like hitting the head with rocks, I guess. We <laughs> could it. What's like the... I'm third? pretty sure Yemen's in the Gaza Strip, and I'm pretty sure the Gaza Strip's been on the... Uh, if you go on like FBI slash travel oh, yeah. dot gov, <laughs> it's like... The top don't ten, go top, there. Top ten don't go there. It's like up there with like Somalia. Really? You don't like Yemen? Yeah, you don't tourist to Somalia. What, where's Venezuela at on that list? That's South America. Oh, I think where's on, on the list? I yeah. I haven't looked at it in a long time. I just looked like it's been. It's been I a haven't while. seen. Have you, I haven't heard that much coming out of Venezuela though have lately. You, have you seen their gas is super cheap? It's like less than They'll a give penny it to for you. a gallon. Yeah, most time you just go fill up like at the gas station, but they don't charge nothing. They just all right. Who's they, paying for that? The country. They have They're much. sitting on oil reserves. So they just have plenty of gas. They We're say, sitting on an oil reserve. They say, get, look, this we is, can't we have three, touch it. We have 300 trillion billion. Oh, yeah. uh, Joe Biden said we got 300, we got 300,000 trillion billion and one oil barrels. Chocolate, look, chocolate so chip. look, you can, apparently they say you can buy a tanker uh, across from Venezuela, like in a different country, buy that tanker for like 10 grand, go over there, get like 30,000 gallons, fill it up for like, Thirty dollars. Okay. Come back and sell that motherfucker for like three dollars a gallon. Can you? That's what they say. Has they somebody say people, done it? They say people are doing it. I don't know. I want to try. About, it. I'm about to do it. Dude, that sounds it, like dude. a fucking adventure. That's a great investment, right there. See, you know what I wanted to do, and it kind of tickled my brain for a second. Is when we finally pulled out of Afghanistan and left all that stuff. Oh, uh, and they were the, all and, of and, it. And the and the Taliban got in a black car <laughs> and tied and. And tie- no, 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 they could fly it. They eventually figured out how to fly it. But then you see they the- hung people from it. Yeah, of course. That shit's nuts. Why? What else are you going to do with the Black Hawk? You can't use the guns have on it. Let's the just picture? parade not, bodies not, around of this them guy. Hanging. They have people on in nooses hanging them flying a Black Hawk. Well, they're just like cruising around with uh-huh, them? Like a little like, like a little puppet. Americans or their own people? Probably their own they're people. Their own people. Oh, really? Probably women. They don't like women. <laughs> I know they don't like women. They love goats. What do they do? What do they do over there if a woman has a, a, a education? No, a, 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 a they fly around. That, on what's a that black thing hawk? called? Is a tiny woman? A tiny woman? Yes. What's it called? A midget? Um, the, uh, a baby girl is what I'm thinking of. If they have a baby girl, yes. Yeah, so no, it's not. Boy, ch- it's not China. It's not They're not going to kill it. They don't throw it in the dumpster. Why? I mean, if they don't like women, like why? Do they, no, they don't. Keep, no, they keep like, going until you have. No, they like boys. women. They don't educate their women. Yes. They don't like educated women. <clears throat> so why does China hate their women? There's too many of them. <laughs> There's too many people. Well, that's what they. That's what China thinks. That's, yes, that's China's reason. 
So do they really have too many women though? No, they they rescinded that whole like law like probably should, three years go ago, to, four years ago. We should go to Japan. Oh, Japan's Japan. cool. My dad went to Japan. I don't want to go to China. I want to go to Japan. That'd be mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Apparently, uh, Asian women love American guys. That's where I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be a passport bro, you know? Dude, but why though? Did you, you know about the passport I bros? I do. I know, yeah. I know about that. the greatest thing. It's a, it's a great idea. I mean, really. It is. I mean, every People, other country is cheaper you, you than heard ours. About it? Enlighten me. Have you, dude, passport bros. Josh so, is about to get a divorce after he hears this. Dude, so people, so American civilization has completely ruined the society of women and the way that women think of themselves. You know, you see them interviews, and the guy's like, "How much do you think that uh, your significant other should spend on an engagement ring?" Mm. And they're like, "Uh, probably like five hundred thousand. And you're just like, and you hear that about ten times, and you're like, "This, we're fucked. We're truly fucked. These people are delusional." Are yes. you del- yeah, I, I mean, I hear that also, but at the same time, it's like I feel like they don't interview as many people to get a good census of what's really going on. I've seen, plenty. but I do, I do believe that there are more women out there that believe they're higher value than they actually are, and I think men are the complete opposite. They value yes. themselves less than yes. what they actually are, and women women value themselves higher than what they actually are. So I get what you're saying, but but so like yeah, so that and then it it'd be like a it'd be like a like a solid four, four and a half, talking about hundred thousand dollar engagement ring. Like, bitch, get that out of here. You're, you're to be six two, you're four hundred seventy pounds. You're four hundred pounds, dude. You eat McDonald's every day. But you know, food. you know, I I know some people that uh, make a great amount of money, and you know, they're not the best looking people themselves, and they don't have the best looking wife, but. They're definitely spending that money on that ring for them. Do they have a good but personality? But these are single women. No, they do not. No, no good personality. These are single women. I know, but you get, like, there are... There's there a are, reason there, they're single. There's guys out there. I'm not going to name any, like, specific job field, but you probably all got one in your mind, like, what you would think. Well, dude, like, just like, like a, a, a guy that's, computer like... Computer engineering. Like, I mean... Yeah, you know, something nerdy or, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, they, they you probably don't think they're going to get the hottest girls. And you're like, where are these girls going to get the guys from? Guys like that. You know, right. comes back to kind of simps. You know, I don't, I hate that word, but it just kind of comes back to what it is. Beta males. So, so these, so getting back to American, American women suck. Yes. They're social media oriented. They're fucking delusional. And they think that they're going to find a multimillionaire when there's, that's literally the top 1% of the world. The average pay now may, might be, might be 60, 70 grand. Mm-hmm. Probably not. Probably not. I think it's like that. forty. Probably. Really? Is that still the it's average? Low. That's yeah. still the it's average. Real low. If that dude, that if that's still the average, then the, I don't know how people are are making it. But anyway, so the passport bros. It's a bunch of bunch of dudes to get jobs overseas. Go get, no, not not even overseas. It's normally a remote job from somewhere like America. You or, find you a good like or remote, good remote job or remote jobs. And, and the, the thing they, is, they move. The thing is, you don't even have to have a great remote job. You've been making like 60, 70 grand a year. And even if you got some money saved up, yeah. you're like, that's going to fucking survive you through everything in any other country, pretty much. So you just bop around different countries? Well, yeah. they're looking for a wife. Oh. And then they find a wife and they bring him back here. Yeah, let me guess the women that they find. Well, cook, clean. I was fixed to say, but a whole like. Completely different, dude. Yes. The, the women over there aren't like that. Hmm. But there's some people out there that are doing just like the whole circuit, you know. I mean, they're just going to every country. Like, Japan's as, a huge one. Yeah, as long as you got, I mean, Thailand, you got Colombia, a lot of those. I mean, you're just going around. Basically, Italy. As long as you got a laptop and you got Wi-Fi, and internet. you can work, you know. I mean, I know, I know people, um, I follow this one family on YouTube, and they live in a sailboat in like St. Augustine. And they just sail around. They both work remote. And they just, you know, bebop around and just make a lot of fucking money. That's all they do. Wait, what do they do in the boat though? They do their work. What work are they doing? You say, you're saying they like they they have remote charter? jobs. No, they have remote jobs. Oh, okay, but they sold their house, sold everything, and they live in a boat. People have been doing that. They say you can live on a uh, like a yacht. Like you can get like these three year long cruise passes, and that are like a hundred and fifty thousand for like three years. Mm-hmm. But it includes your you know your housing, yeah. and you don't need a fucking car. And you'll have insurance yeah. and all your foods paid for and all your drinks and activities. They're just what, all included. What's all included? In Everything. The, what, like, is, what is this? This is a cruise. You're living on a cruise ship. Yeah. Uh, oh, retirement cruises? Or just any, apparently you can do like, like a three-year deal well, on, like a, on like a cruise. They're called retirement cruises. Yeah, yeah but you, you just live there. It's like 150000 for like three years or yeah. something. But 
everything's included. Yeah, yeah there's no. there's old people that do that. Yeah, old people do that because it costs about the same to live in like a fifty five and older community that it you would have. It would actually sometimes it costs less to yeah. live on a cruise ship. Yeah, I mean say I mean say you yeah exactly. <clears throat> so you just live on a cruise ship. Yeah, you got a doctor. Then any of the money you get, you just spend it on the islands. You know. Well, so you're living off Social Security by that point. So you spend it on the islands. <laughs> yeah, basically yes. Buy no, shit ton of alcohol there. Dude, did you have you have you heard about a bunch of Americans that are moving to Mexico? Yeah, actually, well, our, this is nuts. Our our producer that I used to work for, did you do Nate? Oh, yeah. He lives down there. He's been down there for three years now. Dude, I think. The, dude Mexico, years? the gov- the Mexican government saying Mex- Mexico City no longer, no longer our, our country no more. It, no, the language is going away. Everything going away. Americans, they come here. We want them to go back. Hmm. Oh, oh, really? They don't want him down there. No, no. Really? Funny guy. Funny guy. Oh, yeah. hell, turntables. Oh, yeah. I feel like you'd want Americans down there. No, like, no. They're saying they're losing their country to Americans. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I mean, uh, Nate's going to have to get out of Mexico now. I mean, they're, they're going to push him out. You I think mean, so? Dude, dude, I don't get it. I, I mean, he's a citizen down there now. The, the hypocrisy, gonna... dude. I mean, but do you think it'd be, it would turn into like a South Africa type deal? Do you heard about South Africa, right? What happened to South Africa? Well, I mean, South Africa is how they white. all turned white. Yeah, and now they're all killing all the white people. Oh, they're coming in and murdering them? They're killing no, the white when, people. When did this start? This year. This year? Yeah. Recently? Yeah. Josh led the charge. <laughs> I'm white, though. They're killing white. I mean, I'm, never mind. Josh is like, I got the freckles. <laughs> Get out of here, you whites. I can pick sides. Which, which side I want to be on. You can pick zero sides. I can pick zero sides. But yeah, no. So in South Africa, like all the uh, the black people are getting like attacked and whatnot now. The white like, people? Yeah, like the natural... The white people. You said... Yeah, the white people. Are getting attacked. Yes. In South Africa. Yes. Like but the South African white people that have been there for generations right. are now the ones that are being like, you know, kicked out. And Wait, how did, how did they end up being white down there in South Africa? They just get like... Colonization. Oh, they just kind of merged down there? They went to the well, very tip? Like, oh, well, no Africa, one's taking this land. Let's well, just use this. Well, Africa used to be predominantly owned by I think there was only Britain. Britain. there's only yeah, yeah I'm Britain that France part. there's a couple different countries it has some yeah. colonies the in Dutch there. but yeah no like Africa in itself I think there's only like maybe a handful of countries left in Africa that have not been under any sort of European colonization at any point in their history yeah I believe Somal- Most, Somalia would be under that I think Somalia are French oh, dude right. South Africa I'm though? just saying there's no civilization oh no South Al- the most uncivilized country. South Africa got their name from Lethal Weapon 2. I'll tell you that right now. From Lethal Weapon 2? Yeah, that's the, the Lethal Weapon 2 put South Africa on the map. <laughs> I'll tell you that, dude. <laughs> you know, they had the, the the diplomat from South Africa over there. Yeah. He's like, I'm a diplomat. And they shot that motherfucker in the head. <laughs> he was like, fuck your diplomacy. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. No, what was oh, it? Danny Glover fucked him up. Rwanda. Not Rwanda. Rhodesia. Dude, you're thinking of Black Panther over there. Rwanda. I'm thinking of Rhodesia. Rhodesia's no longer a country anymore. What happened to them? They got kicked out. By who? By what country? Some other Africans. Who ate them? Some other Africans. Are they all cannibals? No. 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 None of them. They don't. Some of them. <laughs> well, there might be. There's What's some, the island? No, all right, look. We got, we got to get on the interesting part about Africa. What's the island that eats people? What's that called? Oh, it's not in It's, it's not, not Madagascar. In Africa. It's not in Africa. It's Papua New Guinea. It's, okay. Well, let's, or let's, not let's Papua New Guinea. They don't eat people either. I want to know more about that. I've always had questions on it. It seems like YouTube brides are the one to ask about. I, it. I, I, I forget what it's called, dude, but it's not in Africa. I think it's off like the I think it's off like the East Asia coast. Like in I mean, like it's a tiny. You tell me like Philippines. That it's where that area. dude went on a he was he he it's went like, by oh, himself. No, 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 no. He was no. a missionary. You're, you're thinking of um North Sentinel Island off of uh, off of uh, India. Yeah, I, oh, it's okay. off the it's off the Asian coast. That's, it's off the coast of India. It's North Sentinel Island. So why don't we go there? Just because they like just kill you and just like leave it's them because alone? It, well, it's because they're like probably one of the they're uncontacted still uncontacted tribes left. Try to go show them Jesus, they and they him. shot arrows yeah. at their helicopter, they and then they ate them. No, no, no. He was on the ground. Yeah, and then dude, he, there's a dude that Joe Rogan had on his podcast that that freaking. Went to, he was it went to a cannibal island and got chased. Really? Yeah, and he yeah he lived to tell about it. Well, obviously he. Had I forgot him. I forgot who it was. Interesting, but yeah, no North Sentinel Island. Funny story about them. Apparently, the Indian government has banned all sorts of travel or contact, or we just don't mess with them because it's going to be a whole another smallpox blankets type situation if it's we like, even go over there. Like, oh, you think they got weird diseases like no, worse than we AIDS? have? No, we, like, we would give them. Diseases. We would give them. Like the call, like a flu, and then just kill them all. What if we just did like an experiment where we just had like three helicopters go over, and we just had like one <laughs> dude piss 
over the edge and one like one dude jack off. <laughs> And then we had just one dude shit over the edge and just see how much it corrupted that environment right there. Probably not that much. I mean, it's like unintroduced specimens. It's into, sterile. What, piss? Pissing it's, on people? It's sterile. Shitting on people is okay? Yeah, it's not asterisk. It's not okay. It's not okay. But it's they, not, they may like it. You might not know. kill them. Well, what could we introduce to them that make them be like, oh my God, like mosquitoes or, or like got, malaria I, blankets? I guarantee they got mosquitoes. They probably, they probably already have all that. Bill Gates probably didn't shit. Like, are you just talking about like what can you, what small thing can you introduce to just decimate them all? Well, I'm just saying, you're talking about like we shouldn't go there and talk to them. Like, what are we going to no, hurt can't. talking to them? We can't. We don't know their language. Well, we could like write shit down and like, but like stick, stick. We okay, tried. Water, wa- they tried and they killed everybody that's went over there. We figured out how to talk to Helen Keller, god dang it. So we can figure out how to talk to the North Sentinel people. Like I said, she couldn't hear, speak, or talk. She could talk. No, 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 no. That's all she could do. <laughs> what are you talking about? She could well, talk. She could say words at the end of her life. <laughs> it took her 40 years, man. Well, it's something. That, you know why it took her 40 years? Because people practiced with her when she was younger. We're we not practice with these people. We're not, no. Leave them alone. Let them be. Yeah, it's like North Korea. I want to poke you them just, with a stick. They're going to poke do. you with a stick and then eat you. They're going to eat your butthole. They're going to shove the stick through your ass exactly. and up your mouth. And what do you got to have? Like a piece of piece of plywood to defeat them? Like stop their arrows? What are they shooting? Twenty pounds? No, yeah. they're like they're they. There's you can find a picture of a they had a they flew a Cessna over trying to take pictures of them, like a little small plane. I I know what a Cessna is. And the whole underside is just littered. It's like a small with, plane. Small plane. It was just littered with arrows. Is it smaller than a bigger plane? It's a Cessna one seventy two. Okay. So it's not it's not quite a big plane. Not quite, but it's not a tiny one either. So you're saying arrows were sticking out of the airplane. Oh yeah, the whole thing was just covered in arrows. And then the little missionary dude that tried to go over there, he was like He was in a boat. Yeah, he was like a little raft. And he was like, I'm gonna give you Jesus. And then they're like, Asian man. <laughs> like, Asian Thank man Jesus. tastes good. Thank you, Jesus for meat. And then they ate him. Is that all they do is eat just people on their island? There can't be any more animals left on that island. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, no, there there's there's be. pigs on there. Yeah. They, they've had to hunt them. To, they don't know what extinction is, do they? No. They, no. They've had to kill them by now. No, what's funny, though, is in like the 70s, I, I mean, want to say, they had a lightning strike a palm tree, and they gave them fire. said fire. And they the learned fu- fire then? No, 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 they still have not learned fire. They don't know how to make fire. They've just had one big fire burning this whole time, and then like, I can't remember how many years ago, but it went out. So that's what you need to get Dude. Them. Barst Dude. fire. Just, <laughs> just drop them a Bic lighter. With a picture of how to use it, that would be crazy. And then just, they're just gonna burn the island down, dude. If you know, I know, I know how to do it now. I know how to take over the island. We become, we come up there with a flamethrower. Taking they it will over, respect us. We taking will be, it over would not be hard. We will be God. Just sneeze on them and take it over. It would not be hard. Look, flamethrower. We will be gods. I could you take show. It. Like, they'd be like, oh my god. We just burn shit. We like give us sacrifice. We just like burn somebody right well, there in front like, of them. That's like when we dude, could, you give me. Dragon's breath rounds, <laughs> a fifty round drum and a nine millimeter. I'll take over the whole island by myself. <laughs> take over or kill everyone. Take over. No, nah, you got to kill a couple. Then like, oh shit, I'm not fucking with him anymore. Once I flame someone in the face, so I saw you. They'll do. probably be like, sticks no work. Oh. <laughs> They're like, look at their hands. They got their they got their bow and their arrow. They're like, and I'm like, do you think those people dang. have rational skills though? Like just being so separated it's from just everything, survival. Or, or they they just, yeah, just just survival skills. Are they just animals. I don't know. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I animals. Mean, well, you got to think too. Like they, well, they have, have some kind of religion. Do they? I don't think uh, they do. I do. They got yeah. They yeah. Think, I mean, they're you, still in like the sun sun worshiping age. What if they're right? They worship the sun. What? You want you want to know if they're okay. right, Josh? We are sitting in an air conditioned house talking on microphones yeah. to the fucking millions of people. And what gives the world. you and what gives you this power? What gives you the wheat that that beer is made of? The sun. <laughs> yeah, they started the very first step. Well, like, that's the all. Sun. That's Come, all we're thinking. Who made the sun? A lot of lot of atoms and molecules You're and an gravity. Josh, You're an they <laughs> they literally looked at the first thing they saw in the sky and said, "Yep, that's it. That's all we know." Well, they they must that's have a, the they fir- must have a moon god. That's the first step, and, and then an ocean else. god, and then a fish god, and then a, a palm tree god, and a monkey god, and you know what they've the probably, Asian man god probably, and they ate him. You know what they probably never have seen before what? is a dog. They would eat know. it. I don't think I've ever seen a dog. Oh, you get you a, Bel- a Belgian probably, Malois and just sick them. They've probably I'm never. Think, I'm not gonna say that. They've. You know what they've really never seen? They've really never seen a homeless probably, person. 
They're they, all homeless people. <laughs> they just live in trees. Like they've never seen a homeless man, dude. So to them, dude, they're uncontacted. Well, the thing is, the homeless people to them, they probably the homeless people are like, oh yeah, he's cool, he's normal. And then like you live in a fucking box that has fake suns in it. The hell's wrong with you? Go touch some grass. Yeah, homeless people are probably gods to those people. They're probably like, just dude. probably just everyday people to them. They're like, you're not living in the river. We, we wouldn't know nobody. Damn cameras over here fucking up, man. Oh, my God. At least we're not live. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, I hate this camera. Which one? Mine? Which one's fucking up? Oh. All right, well, um, how long have we been... Where do y'all think August is doing right now? What do you think his plans are? Definitely getting pegged. Think <laughs> Pegged? <laughs> Definitely getting pegged. Shafted. Yeah, I don't know. He really doesn't come home anymore. I know. It's really just me and Justin He didn't here. text me back. Oh, yeah, because he's too busy getting pegged. That's terrible. Y'all think I was weird. He's he didn't, a motherfucker. He didn't, there just, he didn't text me back. Dude, have y'all heard about the swamp in Africa that's the size of Florida that's never that's only been like 20% explored? And they claim that dinosaurs still live there. And there's like in eight, Africa? Really? And there's like 80-foot crocodiles. Jesus. What? 80 Where's foot. it at? Is it in the middle of Africa, like the Congo area? It, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a it's the size of Florida, and it's tw- it's only been 20% explored. I you believe know. it. I just, totally believe it. Why don't we just start like cutting that shit down? No. Like, they say there's like Baranosaurus like type dinosaurs that are that are live in the water. And they only come out like in the dawn. And there's articles written like in the 40s, the 60s, the 80s, and there hasn't been any recent recent traveling or, or discovery of anything. You think they just dove down real deep? Like when the meteors hit, and they're like, "Oh, we're still here, man." Well, or think they like they involved into something else. I don't. Like, I don't know. I, don't I think know. it's that. Josh pointing at me. He's happy. I don't know. Now dude, you're but talking about 80, stuff. Showing but, me what his dick's doing. But Eighty foot crocodiles, bro. Dude, that'd be insane. Dude, that'd be foot. longer than this room right here. It'd be. That's longer than a school bus. That's from this wall to that far wall over What's there. What's a school bus? Forty feet. I don't know. Fifty feet. Probably 60. a semi trailer is fifty two foot. Yeah, so it's probably... Oh, so school bus... Yeah, 40 feet. School bus is 40 Sure. Feet. So it'd be longer than that. It, it would be It would be almost twice as long as a semi-truck. That's ridiculous. As, would, he, would he even, like, try to eat you, though? Oh, I bet he'd eat the shit out of you. It's just... You're just, one you're, bite, you're just like It's like a goldfish cracker to him. Oh, well, what eat, else are they going to eat, man? A lot of them. Apparently, they're eating di- a brontosaurus. Other, di- other dinosaurs. Other dinosaurs? Other dinosaurs, yeah. Dude, if they're that big. I believe it. Baby. Baby little brontosaurus out there in the swamp, dude. Just trying to vibe, and then just 80 foot croc comes up and just wow. Just get a little munch on. Yeah, you never know. Dude, I don't like crocodiles. They kind of scare me. Crocodiles, alligators, or caimans. Dude, fucking all. You know what really freaks me out is when I'm, when I'm in the caimans. lake, when I'm in the lake and the alligator caimans. gars. I don't want something grabbing my leg and pulling they're it down. They're not going to mess with you. They're kind of cool. I think they do. I think they want to fuck with my leg. Where? Alligator Anywhere. gars. In a well, lake. Well, so like I've somewhere. been I've been duck hunting in like an alligator slough before, and the, like the alligator left. Like yeah, but pulled. you're only like waist deep, right? There's still a 13 foot alligator that was just sitting there, and when we pulled the boat in, he left, and you can see him sitting out there. Yeah, and but, then when you shoot a duck, you ain't waist deep. <laughs> you gotta walk out there and go get the motherfucker while he's. I'm bleeding. saying, I'm saying, like you're just like in a lake, and you're like just floating there. That's when I'm just like, oh, I shit, someone's about to grab me right I don't think alligator it's gar. It's not going to get a gar right jo- now. Oh, a gar? Yeah. It's like grab your pinky I'm talking about a real alligator. Down. He's talking about gars. I'm talking about a real alligator standing in an alligator slough. Yeah, well, I wouldn't expect that in a lake. Yeah. Not here. Lake you follow. Oh, where's that at? It's uh, down. It's like down south. You follow? You follow? Oh, no, I know where you follow. It's below Columbus. Yeah. It's in Alabama. Yeah. It's below, yeah. No, it's in Georgia. It's half Is it? It's half and half. It's on the line. It's the It is the state line. That's like West Point, then. Mm-hmm. Dude, what's the one that everyone keeps dying at? Uh, Georgia? Uh, Lanier. Yo, dude. That Lanier, Lanier, is Lanier is fucking cursed. Did they ever find a... Uh, you can't change my mind. Did they ever find John Jones's like, ring that was worth 500 grand? It wasn't John... That was uh, Julio's, right? Julio Jones. Yeah. yeah. John mm-hmm. Jones's UFC fighter. Yeah. Probably not. He's dude, a, yeah, I remember that. It was like... That was like... That was like, what, five, six years ago he lost that? And they oh, had the divers yeah. come in. It was like a hundred thousand dollar. It was a hundred year ring. One hundred fifty thousand dollar reward. Shoo. Was it a year? But ring? I would, it, dude. If I if I'd have found it, I would not told a damn person. <laughs> well, he would have sold it for more than that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fix say the problem with that though is you go to Pasha like <laughs> look at this and like there's only one of those and one of them is missing. And you just so happen to have one. So either this is a fake or you stole it. 
But he didn't stole it because Finders Keepers. No, so I found it in a lake, bro. Like, it says, uh, what do you mean? Julio and Falcons. People find shit like that at the beach all the time. It was probably, True. it wasn't the engraved pa- or anything. You're telling, me, you're telling me you bring a pistol you just murdered someone with to a pawn shop and they buy it, and you're, you're talking about jewelry worth thousands of dollars, oh, no. and they're going to turn you away. That, that goes in my... They're not going to ask I'm you a gonna single go. question. They're going to get an authenticator, and then they're going to give you money for it. Probably, because then they're going to make money. But I would it. take it to a jeweler. I wouldn't take it to a pawn shop. We live in two different worlds. Pawn shops, yeah. I, th- those dudes are just always trying to scam because they. But, they, but they, but they know they're always going to make money off of it, so well, they see, don't care. Like it could be some. I don't see how shit. a pawn shop you've stays gotta, open. I don't I'll see say, how listen, they make money. Stupid people. You've got you, uh, exactly. You've yeah. got to look at who you're selling to. So if exactly. you're selling to a pawn shop, you got to see who they're selling to, and they're going to be selling to more lower class people. If you go to a jeweler and you sell it to them, they're going to be selling to more higher class people. So that way. You can get more for it, and they can charge more for it. Well, and they, they know, know their clientele they, and they is know worth more. They know what they're looking at. Yeah. If I bring them a, a damn earring, one earring with a diamond in it worth three hundred grand, ma'am, I would like at least two hundred seventy thousand dollars for that. <laughs> or a gift card at Taco Mac, Car Street, <laughs> something like that. I, I need wanna, something out of this. So just just give yeah, me the Taco life, Mac, lifetime Taco <laughs> yeah. Mac. Dude. Give me two percent of the Taco Mac across the street. We'll be good. Only two percent. I'd probably go for a little more than that. But yeah, no. You make like, a shit ton off two percent of the Taco Mac and Noonan. Oh 2%. my god! Yeah, dude. Hell 20%. yeah. Twenty percent. Oh, and then no one ever go for that. Probably not. But you know, no, I just well, then you gotta that. do too much in it. Then, cash. Then you're like, just oh, dude, cash. I'm fucked. They're like the responsibility wise, of like you're an active shareholder at this point, so you kind of have to make decisions. Yeah, you had to make sure everything's going good. If you only got two yeah. percent, you're like, you know, they do really good. You know, I might make you know, uh, thirty grand that sure. year. Well, that's X thirty grand that you wouldn't already have at yeah. a pawn shop. No, 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 no. If you own a taco mat. Two percent share in a taco mat. Two percent share of the diamond? The earnings of a taco, taco mat that you bought the two percent share oh, with, you're saying, with the diamond. Yeah, you're saying you're gonna buy oh, okay. Yes. You're not yes. gonna make any money. On a two percent share at Taco Mac? I don't even think they're publicly traded. No, I'm saying if you own two <laughs> percent of the company. Mac. Yeah. Dude, at the at a single location. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look wired when you got here. It's been a long you day. You got a couple eyes there. I mean, it was so long of a day for August. He didn't even come fucking record, man. Dude, it's, I mean, dude, I'm, I wasn't going to. I mean, it was been a long day, but I thought August was going to be here, so I came. Looks like you ain't got much left in you. Like One eye is closing before the other. Like, oh. Chameleon eyes that blink, how, blink, I, yeah. blink, blink, blink. <laughs> I do that, and I, when I do that, I'm like, oh, I'm sticking, man. You do it a lot. I'd be like, I'm sticking. When, you, when you're when you fucked up, you'll just, I'll look back, and Brad's like, you want a Gatorade? Blink, blink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, oh, God. They're off sync. <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing my walking in a straight line. Blink, blink. Dude, with I've, my eyes. I've driven, like, over five hours today. Like, it's been. I drove. Do you drive your truck? You got a company truck you drive. I have a company car. Is that your, 62 your house? Miles, 62 miles to the gallon. You just keep it at your house? Yeah, I drive it home. Oh, hell yeah. That's nice. I drive my personal one. It's not my personal car. That it's. it's not my daily driver. Dude, I think that the Corolla Hybrid would smoke your car. Probably so. Yes, dude. That moment. Well, Josh, you, uh, you're dri- what are you driving now? For, or you're, for work? You're, you stole your brother's truck, but now I your did. brother's got a job. So now what he's going to do for a vehicle? I don't know. He needs to ride a bike. Truck. Give him your car. <laughs> what am I going to drive? The truck. That, that that 98 F-150. Yeah, drive that full Regular time. Regular cab, short bed with a camper shell. That's, you making money with the motherfucker? Isn't that what you're using now? With a V6. You're making yeah. money with the motherfucker. That good money from what you money. told us. Oh, you got paid. Did you get paid? I did get paid. What'd you get paid? I'm not going to tell you that. Oh, dude. He ain't going to tell us right now. He said he couldn't go out to eat good, last week because he ain't got paid. Good. We're good. going out to eat tomorrow night. It's better. Than, I'll tell you uh, that. Working on an ambulance. Really? Yes. And almost, almost double. Double than an ambulance. Uh-huh, yeah. Wow. Cleaning fish tanks. Fondling fish. Who knew could fondling fish could make you money? Dude, you should be a fish porn star coming up, Josh. How's that going to work? Dude, fuck the fish. I don't what do you mean how's that work? Fish fucker. <laughs> so about the whole dolphin thing in LSD, right? So Yeah, we talked about that. I know, are you thinking saying. about, or you you know think about getting that world like fucking dolphins? Or you know what no. would really make some views, dude? If what? you ate a fish and then it yacked it back up. We it tried was... to do that. I think we talked about Did we not talk about and that? It was I think still we, we talked about it up there. We and didn't it, talk about it on this thing. It was still alive. Yeah, our buddy Matthew tried to do that and uh, it didn't work. He ate a whole dip. His last, name, whole... His last name started with an S. Yeah. Yes. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Oh, dude, I'm kicking the camera and shit. Oh, man. Oh, look at, look at this. 
Look at this. All right. Well, uh, y'all got anything before we hop on out of here? <laughs> we got to continue with the fish story. No, the fish story, I, I finished it. He fucking ate a pinch of dip and he didn't throw it up. What do you mean? You ready, ready to go, go man? You yeah, know. dude. We're like, you know, we're doing pretty good on here. You, you know, know nothing more to talk about. We're just all kind of faded. I'm seeing your eyes. And dude, I'm, eyes I'm chilling. I'm big chill. Well, throw, throw me something. Give me a good last story. Give me a good 10 minutes before we roll on out of here. Good 10 minute story, dude. Hmm. Talk about something, uh, you know, with work or what, uh, whatever happened with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. I don't want to talk about any of that. You want to talk about your boyfriend? Definitely not him. <laughs> <laughs> anytime Josh ever made you feel weird. Anytime, <laughs> jo- anytime Josh made me feel weird. No. Really? I've never made you feel weird at all. I don't think so. Huh. Why? I don't know. Why do you think you've made me feel weird? I just I feel like I have. I feel like I've I've tickled some buttons every now and then. Josh loves using that word tickled every time he does. It just well, like I don't out. I don't think I don't think that you like I don't think I was like so weirded out. That I like had to leave or something. Oh no, not that weird. No. I mean, I mean, you like to watch some pretty controversial things on the internet. I do. I mean, it doesn't make me feel weird, but it's like, yeah, I don't know why you're looking at that, man. Why do you think I look at that, dude? Why I, do you think that some? Why do you think that somebody would search out? Well, I mean, I'm. I mean, I. Well, yeah. I, are you talking about? Are you talking about his specific porn? No, 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 no. no like, like. Well, I mean, I like the occasional good cartel video, but. Oh yeah, you talking about Josh like like seeing people get murdered and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, why, like you brutal killings. You, you Josh, literally, you literally like get the urge, and you're just like, I think I'll look this up now. Josh will like watch people get their tits cut off and like put no, their penis in there, no, man. It's no. rough. Dude. That I only showed you that because I saw it, and I'm like, oh god, yeah, but, but somebody why, else needs to see but this. Why are these things coming up on your feed or whatever you look at them on? I really don't know. I think half of them are like war videos. I just think it's like interesting because big political power. They're f- declaring the war, but yet the little average man is out there fighting the war, and it's just kind of fucked. I don't like that. Well, uh, At the second time, though, it's just it's kind of interesting to see what the inside of a person looks like. Okay. You just like guts? No. I, mean, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like beat off to this shit or nothing, but it's just like, okay. this It's the stuff that you don't see that you're not going to see really ever really the question I, boys down to is I really if you were working at a funeral home and you had to deal with a dead body would you put a dildo slash your dick in the body no, no. no i really you, uh, you, you can get some kind of diseases from that really only from that i really, really take, only from dead people so they, they'll know if you fucked yep. a dead body yep there's how been, often does that come up a couple times every decade or so you'll have no, like people a little, go to more, more uh people that work in mortuaries go to prison all the time dude for because of that yeah for really fucking, oh, yeah. fucking dead bodies for fucking necro- necrophilia so dude. they get like, dude, they I, get into the profession to fuck bodies yeah. I they're like, just like or they're just like in there and mm-hmm. like, well, like just oh, think about of, it nobody wants to, nobody wants to do that job so they'll hire I almost them. went to mortuary school they'll hire a weirdo and I and, and I was going to bring up um what you asked me uh when has Josh ever made me uncomfortable? I completely take back what I said because I've been uncomfortable for the last three and a half minutes. <laughs> so as soon as he said, I just wonder what a dead body, the insides of dead bodies look like. I was like, I'm, I'm I think I'll. I think I'll check out of this conversation. Well, it's see, better he said like, look like instead of feel like. You well, know? Yeah. Well, feel like, like would have well, been like, a lot dude, worse. Dude, it just, I have it, felt that too, though. But that's, that's came with oh, work. He'd like well, yeah, well yeah, with work. That has come with work, though. <laughs> it's sitting good. <laughs> it's not right, good, well, dude. Uh, see you next. No. <laughs> dude, sounds like serial killer shit, dude. I've only had one beer, and you never got your beer. I got one right here. Yeah. Oh, well, dude. It's over here. Well, dude, you still got beer in it? I got a little bit, yeah. Why? You need a little sip? No, Thirsty? no, I'm saying, I mean, I just drank one beer. We haven't even been recording for that long. Oh, we're at 45 minutes right now, baby. Put rookie numbers. Yeah, okay. Dude, dude rookie, why are you scared? I'm not scared. I'm just, uh, it's kind of fading a little I think bit. You're I feel like you're that. fading. I think I'm fading. You're Am fading. I fading? Yeah. No, so? Not really. Well, I mean, I'm the moderator here, so if I'm fading, then the whole show is about to just, like, go all faded. We, we're going to be we, doing it. We can take it. We're going to do it for damn three hours. You'll be like, what are we, are we talking about right now? No, I mean, dude, what are we ever talking about, ever? Well, usually we have a little planned list go, going out. I know. Out, why didn't you, you didn't bring a you didn't bring a plan? We we're supposed to play a game. Well, it all fell apart because we needed to have three people, and August was not here. So I'm just gonna blame August. It on August really not pissing here. me off. I I know, right? You know, I can't believe he didn't want to record. You know, that's what I'm it, saying. It's like, it's like, dude, if you can't hang out with your bros for a couple hours, then then what's the point? Literally an hour. 
like, well, I'm trying, dude, I'm trying to blow this thing up, dude. I, the, every podcast I've listened to this week's like fucking an hour and a half long at least. Easy, yes. Yeah, but you, you know, there's and that's quality ed- and over that's quantity. Ed- and that's edited. Yeah, you, I mean, it's quality over quantity, though. You don't want it too long. You don't want to bore. You know, you get a you I don't get, think you we've catch been a vibe. Boring. I don't think we've been boring. I, I didn't say we were, but I say you catch a vibe and you kind of feel it and you kind of ride it out and you're like, okay, yeah, this is good. You know, you get a quick. Sometimes you get a long, sometimes you get a medium. I mean, yeah, it just, uh, you're, just, just, you're just saying you just ride the roller coaster. Yeah, you just got to ride the waves, man. Sometimes it I breaks. mean, I'll tell you right now, we did we did great on uh, TikTok this week. You know, we're doing dude, good. the spider fighting. I, yeah, I, dude, I wanted to talk about the spider fighting. Spider fighting has been going great. All right, so if y'all don't know, we have the ultimate spider fighting. Nate's got us a whole logo design. I got to show you y'all serious? real quick. Dude, this shit is fucking sick, dude. It looks so badass. He's not dude. done with it yet. He's got it dude, um, ah, in production. The Joro spider annihilated. Dude, Mikey? The, no. Oh, no. banana? Mikey, Mikey's an orb banana? We- Mikey's an orb weaver. That's not a banana spider. That, his name is Banana. I don't know I, why everyone... Oh, look my at God. That. It's look a that. fucking legit logo. Look at that logo. That's that is fire. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that, yeah, it looks so good. It looks like I got spider webs on my phone, but it's just my phone is just cracked. What does <laughs> it say? Ultimate fighting spiders? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's so badass. You don't think that you don't think we could get sued for that? Cause you Dude, know. I hope we can. I want a cease and desist from Dana. Is what I want. That's my goal. <laughs> Frame I want a cease and desist. Yeah, from Dana I want a Dana ball. White to tell me to get rid of my fucking. Dude, logo. what if it takes us so far? We just got pay per view spider fights. Yeah, dude. Here. People, some people saying like, dude, I I'll already pay pay per view for if, this. If we can get Joe Rogan, I saw that comment. to moderate spider the spider fight? fights. That would be awesome. I mean, commentate, not moderate. Yes. That yeah, word. that's the word. Yes, yeah, baby. One. Well, look, yeah, I mean, the spider whites went really good. And, um, you know, I'm trying to make this my full time job because I'll tell you, this week of spider fights were really good when it came to <laughs> views and money out of it. Uh, so uh, we got, we got, we had like, uh, another big spider fight coming up for sure. We got to have should, a great we should one. do a live spider fight. Dude, yeah, you know, you think about doing live spider fights, and they just don't do as good as they do. As have you done a live spider fight? Uh, I've done a live uh, live feeding Mm-mm. before. Spider mm. spider fight, dude. If you would have made the Joro, so the banana banana, the the spider's name's banana. He is a Joro spider. Banana. If anybody don't assume his race, his, his, species. His, his he is a Joro spider. Mikey is an orb weaver. And you fought a cellar spider. People saying that it's a brown recluse, it, that is not a brown recluse. You're not finding a brown recluse outside your house on spider nerd on on the side of a house, dude. I work in pest control. Spider nerd alert, <laughs> dude. I, I work in pest control. I'm a professional. I I know about yeah, spiders. but all right. So tell me why uh, Mikey's cousin that we found down at the barn didn't want to fight Banana Ricky. No, Ricky's on the back porch. Oh, I ain't seen oh. him in a minute. But they they became friends. Like they lived in the same web for like thirty minutes. They didn't a fight. whole thirty minutes. They didn't. They didn't fight. The only thing I can think of is that they're both non-venomous spiders, um, and they didn't. So like, oh, is that why he fucked the black if you widow put, up? If you put, yeah, I, that's it was what venomous. I, that's what I would think is that he knows that that spider is more of a threat. But if you took two Joro spiders, if you took two, if you took banana and another. Joro spider and put them in the same banana and web, another banana. Yes, they would they would fuck each other up. Really? What if we put like two Mikey likes together or two orb weavers? Mikey they, likes. They would more than likely fuck each other up. Oh, uh, but do computer's about to blow up over here? They would more than likely too much porn on the computer. More than likely <laughs> fuck each other up, dude. I was crawling under a house and uh, I the common house spider. It's brown and mm-hmm. kind of resembles the body style of a black widow. And I like to just get under there, find about three or four of them, and just merge them all. They will, they will do that. You got your mini spider yeah, fights going dude, on underneath dude, the house? Dude, one will run away, one will win, one will get fucked up, one will get fucked up. Well, the problem now we have in the corner over here, we've got Banana, Mikey, and then two other spiders that live there now. Really? They, they, they were contenders in the fight. And then that now they're now they're out of the fight because they got they, fucked up or no nah, they, they just they ran away from the fight and they just uh, live there now they're like no nah, no nah, nah, these people are crazy <laughs> <laughs> we even put them in a Bud Light box try to get them a fight they didn't want to I fight. saw I saw the uh, arena yeah it was insane it was yeah, it was the a arena fight fantastic arena fight they did not like the arena fight dude you that. when you put the clueless two podcast sign in the web that was the coolest thing <laughs> <ever>. <laughs> you got to put our title sponsor up here dude, that, I wish it hadn't fallen down. 
now taking applications for sponsors for spider fights. <laughs> yeah. Spider fights, yeah. For, dude, I think yeah. spider fights. Anybody who's good. got any spider supplements, uh, we will gladly Dude, feed we're going to juice them. Spot. Dude, I've been feeding these spiders like crazy, like crickets, slugs, and praying mantis. So <laughs> I, <laughs> dude, Mikey, did y'all see the one with the praying mantis? Yeah. And Mikey, dude, everyone says if I didn't hold that praying mantis down, they would have fucked Mikey up. Probably so. so. Yeah, they're really. They fuck each other up. Yeah, they're really. They're, yeah, dude, they're raw. Dude, I knew mantises. I, we had we had a gang fight that motherfucker. Mantises dude. are just terrifying. Dude, if I, I had, was, if I you were, if you were bug sized and you went up against a praying mantis. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, there's a, mo- heads there's a yeah. movie, there's a movie where they take a hot air balloon off and they land on an island and it's full of giant bugs, dude. Mantises or just yes, bugs? Yes, yes, praying mantises, That's spiders, terrifying. dude. That's and, terrifying. and it's re- it's a realistic representation of what it would be like. It's dude, terrifying. I can't remember what the movie's called. I've watched it so many times when I was younger. Hmm. It's so just, good. It's a good movie. I just know me if, and Mikey gang bang that fucking mana. <laughs> if anybody knows the movie I'm talking about, it's like based in like 1800s. They fly a hot air balloon. They crash land on an island. There's a really rich dude that lives on the island. He's in a mansion, and there is just giant bugs just fucking people up out there. I cannot remember what it's called. When did you see this movie? Dude, I was young. Like elementary uh, school young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like elementary school young. Hmm. It's a fantastic movie, dude. Big bugs, ask, rich white guy, dude. I have to ask. I have to ask my grandparents or somebody if they know if they know what I'm talking. about. It's a pretty niche movie, I would say. I don't know too many movies with hot air balloons and big bugs, so it probably shouldn't be too hard to find, dude. I'm telling you, I've tried to. I tried to search. Nothing. No. Nah. I feel mic. like it, it started with a G, but I I cannot. It's enormous. No. Goddamn big bugs. No. no Giga bam. Giga bugs. No. Giga bugs. There you go, baby. We're not guessing it, dude. Mm-hmm. We're not guessing it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what did y'all see about the uh the whole Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift thing going on? Yeah, dude. Dude, did I did you see her in bruised knees? I yeah, I did, I did see, see that. Knees. And the who comments you, on that are crazy. Who do you think has the better takeaway from this? You think Taylor Swift's getting more fans or Kelsey's getting more fans off no, this whole tra- Yeah. Kelsey, you think so? Yeah, yeah. He's getting uh, gaining? Yeah. Yeah. Really, more yeah, popular? Because, yeah, because I I like Travis Kelsey, but I don't give a fuck. About who Taylor who Swift. is Travis Kelsey? He's a he's the he's tight a end for the Kansas City Chiefs, number one tight end overall right now. Don't watch NFL. Oh, see, but you know Taylor Swift. No, but I, I watch. So. I don't. I don't watch NFL either. But I watch Busting with the Boys. All right, Bustin so with the Boys. Yeah, so Josh over here podcast. is a prime example that apparently Taylor Swift is giving him more. No, love. not not necessarily because I have seen things about them too. Like how All she right. was in like his drop top Impala, that was kind of cool with no with no plates, mind you. That was awesome. All and right, then I, also the bruised knees. I've got I've got a few stats here for you. I want y'all to guess. All right, so Travis Kelsey's jersey sale. <clears throat> this is since he started dating Taylor Swift or whatever okay. they're doing. Travis Kelsey's jersey sale spike. Guess how much percentage wise? Three hundred percent. Cardin, uh, probably thirty four percent. Four hundred percent. Holy shit! In jersey sales, just because of the whole yeah, they're together now. Yep. Wow. What? The Swifties are out of control. They are. They're they're going. I mean, this is insane. All right. So the next one is. So you know, Jason. You know, Jason Kelsey. Josh. You no. know who he is? No. He's the center for the Eagles. Sure. That's his bigger brother, Travis Kelsey. They, they look so similar. All right. So they have a podcast together. Okay. Since they've been together, guess what their rank is now on Apple Podcasts? Number two. No, it can't be that high. Number, number two? Number two. I'd Josh? say like eight. Eight. Oh, man, dude. So close. Number one overall on really? Apple Podcasts. Yeah, baby. Number one? Number one, yeah. Out of I, all I knew, the other... I knew, I knew it had to be Kelsey's one podcast rank number one overall on Apple. Over all the other podcasts going on right now? Yeah. Number one. What? The Swifties, man. Do you think it's because right. of the Swifties? It is. There's billions. That's true, yeah. This, this, this is Taylor Swift. This is, is look, is. this is since uh Taylor Swift showed up to Sunday's Chiefs Bears game. So last Sunday. All right, here's the next one. How many Instagram followers do you think Travis Kelsey gained? Oh God. Millions. Give me a number. Um gained since meeting Taylor like the Taylor how, Swift. How thing. many did he have? Uh, I think he was at like eight hundred thousand. Okay, seven hundred thousand. 
He, I'm going to say he's pushing. How many did he gain from there? He's pushing two mil now. He's pushing 1.5. 1.5. Kelsey gained 383,000 followers. I was closer. I don't that, know. That, that I number don't, is going to do nothing but climb. He's at, oh, he's at like he's at like one point three. But I mean, I mean, you got to think because people are really only the eight hundred thousand he had before is because he's a football player. Yeah, and everyone likes that. All these rest of these are probably either people who like kind of like football, but oh, I know pop culture. I like Taylor Swift. I doubt. I doubt. Oh, there are a lot of Swift. I doubt half of these people like football. That's what I'm saying, but they don't even know football. Yeah, yeah, but they've been, they've been doing. But they know that oh, Taylor Swift is like dating this guy or fucking this guy, so I'm gonna follow him now. See what's going on. So yeah, J- Jason and Travis they, they ain't got do nothing a, to do with football. No, they do a podcast every week, and they're calling uh, Jason Dad now. Dad, like he's the dad that explains everything. Oh. He's like eight years older than Travis, I think, uh-huh. and he's been in the league longer. Okay, um, but he's like explaining football to him now. But uh, all right, here's the next one. Get all right. How many viewers do you think watched that game this week? That how, particular game, the yeah. Viewers the, of the game, yeah. went up. Yeah. How many? <laughs> now, how many people do you think watched that game? It's a Chiefs versus who? Bears. Shitty Bears. Chiefs bears are versus terrible. Bears. So I don't give a fuck about any of it. Why do people care about this shit, dude? This Which drives knows? me. This drives me crazy. I mean, it's a Chiefs game people are going to watch regardless. They're Super Bowl champ. This is but, how the government gains control over everybody. Yes. But what do you what do you think the the viewers was? How many people do you think watched that game live? Total. Total. Dude, five million. No, I wouldn't go that high. You're an, dude. You're crazy. Five million people. You got a good poker face. I'd like to play poker with you. Who? You. Me? Yeah, you got a good poker face. Oh, really? I'd say, yeah, I could never tell two, what two, you have. Two point five mil. Two what, dude? Close. Uh, twenty four point three million Holy viewers. Shit. Yeah, I told you, dude. Number was, one, we game. were both so wrong. Number one, twenty four million people watched it. Why? Most just so, just because when the camera goes on Taylor Swift, they're like, "Oh my god, it's Taylor Swift yeah. in a football game." All right, I fucking can't stand <laughs> yeah. it. Dude. Why? Some baby back bullshit. Why? Dude, if 24 million people can watch that stupid football <laughs> game, then at least a million can subscribe to this YouTube channel and watch this podcast, dude. Some bullshit. Damn straight, baby. <laughs> Some it's tr- bullshit. It's, it's true, though. That needs to be a clip right there. <laughs> yeah. I'll get it. I, I just, it, I don't, I don't understand. The, I don't. Quit watching TV, people. Go outside and. And go touch some grass, please. Dude, people watch football outside all the time. Yeah, dude. That's like a tradition. You're outside not football. Yeah, but like don't take a TV outside to go. I just I ugh. watch football? No, nah, 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 play nah, cornhole and drink beer. Yeah, this is an NFL game though. Who the fuck's doing that? Yeah, no, but nobody. It's college football season. College right? football is different. That's a religion. You don't believe you don't realize right. that. That fucking NFL football is a lot bigger than college football. Yeah. Pro- well, probably us, not in the South. When, when, to yes, us, yes, it's different. Yes, it, it's bigger everywhere, dude. The, do you know how much money rides? Dude, people have gambling addictions, dude. My, oh, yeah. My buddy bets on every fucking football game, college, NFL, from the moment it starts, from the moment it ends. <laughs> Watches every game, dude. We were driving. Man, gambling to, on Indian cricket, dude. We, <laughs> d- dude, we were driving to Florida, and we have. He's got a. He's got an F two fifty Lariat, and we have the iPad. This was last year. We have the iPad set up on the dash. We have the phone set up. We're watching. He's got split channels on the iPad. We're watching <sighs> three different games. He's got money riding on every one of them. <laughs> And he knows every fucking player, dude. It's insane. How much money is he is he putting on these games, dude? Four fifty, four fifty, 450, really? Four fifty. I, I, dude, I don't know how much money he's putting on it, but he's he's got, dude. His bookie's good. So uh, not a lot of money, but enough to make you a good extra buck if you if you win. It's just fuck around. Yeah, he's literally fucking around. Yeah. I mean, he's doing it. He's doing it for fun, but he's he's semi serious. Because he don't like to lose <laughs> at all, <laughs> dude. That game last year, um, it was a uh, fuck. What was the game? It was um, who who was the quarterback for uh, Clemson with the long hair? Uh, um, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor yeah. Lawrence. Who's he quarterback for in NFL? Jaguars. Jaguars. It was the Jaguars versus the Giants, I think. And it they the fucking uh, Jaguars won by one point. Um, <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing one about that. One point. Yeah. 
one point, and and dude, and what's his name? Trevor, Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, he, dude. He gets on the interview. They're like, they're like, Trevor, how uh, how how did that game end up for you? They said, he said they couldn't have wrote the script any better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking rigged as. fuck. Fuck, people. Dude. That's been a thing in the NFL now. They all start joking. The NFL well, is actually taking it on as a joke. Well, like, but it's rigged. It's yeah. completely rigged. Trillions of dollars flow through Vegas on sports betting. I oh, I'm sure it. that part is real. Yeah, dude, I you can that. see it. You can see it when the point line changes. It's fucking completely obvious. I think that the Braves completely just soiled it against the Marlins because they didn't want to play the Phillies in the playoffs. Oh, you think so? For sure. Is that what they had to do? Well, they, they had, they had they already just, clinched the division, dude. They, what, what's the point of trying right after that to even to, – to fucking – you don't want to play against the Phillies in the playoffs, dude. So, what – them losing to the Phillies, how does that help them? I mean, losing to the Marlins, how does that help them not playing the Phillies? They don't have to play the Phillies. Where they just get knocked out, they're down to the four seed or something? No, 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 no. No, the Phillies were, were, like, were like in the wild card. Okay. Somebody's going to flame me for this, dude. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I think that it had something to do with the wild card. Phillies being being uh, first in the wild card, and they didn't want to play. I'm pretty sure they didn't want to play the Phillies. I mean, that kind of in makes the sense. playoffs. You know, they they have problems with the Phillies, but then again, this last series they play with them, they they won the series, right? Yeah, yeah, three to three to one. Yeah, did like you that. see the walk off last night? Touch like don't lie, don't ask me. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> no, yeah, Acuna's Acuna was it? No, it wasn't Acuna. It was yet. Ozzy and when, Acuna scored. Acuna got his. Forty seventy though. Yeah, right? he took, I, he did, took see, the I did see that. He got the base, dude. Yeah. Gave me fucking goosebumps. Took the dude. bag, dude. First player to ever do that. You know, what really. He, you know yeah. what his comment was? What? Glory to God. Yeah, he's good, the good first player him. to have. What is it a? Is it a forty seventy or a fifty seventy? No, forty seventy. He, he's uh, yeah, it's. I think it's the, it's four, a, the forty seventy. Forty seventy. Forty home runs, seventy stolen bases. First person to ever do. Yeah, it. Wow. ever do it because he was in the forty sixty. You know, about three weeks ago. Then he said, no, I'm making my own club, That's baby. crazy. You get my club, you want to come join a club. That's wild. All right, go back to the Chiefs. We got a few more left. Uh, jump in female viewership with Taylor Swift being there. What do you think it is? To the game? Yeah. Jump, jump in the percentage-wise. Oh, and dude. female viewership. 50%. Jump that out. had to be at least the big spike in, in viewers was all females. Percentage? <laughs> Who surveys this? Uh, I guess the people, I mean, probably, probably, the, probably the broadcast company. I didn't take the broadcast. fucking survey because I would have said, don't give a fuck. Don't no, I mean, they're fuck. just looking at it just like, all right, how many people actually viewed it? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, how do they know if if you have it on at your house and, and you've got you've got 20 dudes and 30 girls at your I, house? It probably goes by account. And you're watching the game. Like, I don't know. Well, you probably got a few more looking up the score, the typing the in like ESPN, Taylor that? Swift, Chiefs game. They know everything. Yeah, what do you they mean? Know they know everything. But How? All right, well, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how the fucking sync works the half pa- the time. The Patriot Act, all right. That's Josh, what? percentage, what do you think? Female viewers. 225. 225. 225. All right. Percent? Uh, mm-hmm. Increase? Mm-hmm. In female viewers. Uh, 63%. Oh, damn. I'm just, Close, I'm Garden, fucked. over here. All right, we got, we got two more, or we got three more, <laughs> actually. Uh, increase of the word Chiefs searched on the web. <laughs> The what the percentage or, or the the amount? What's the question? Uh, you can do a percentage. They it, did it by times, but percentage I I can calculate. Oh that. oh, Chiefs Chiefs. Yeah. How many t- how more many, times the, has it been searched? Yeah, since then, like the word Chiefs on Google. Oh, probably. I don't like know. Like how many times more than normal? More than normal. I'm thinking not many people search that to begin with. But so. yes, exactly. So I'm gonna go a hundred times more. Josh. Ooh. You should just copy my answer, and you might be right. 101. 100. Or you could go a lot lower. Uh, 47. Three times more searches. Oh, oh times? Yes. I was doing percentage. Doing oh, wait. The- what did you say? Yeah. I said 100 times more searches. Oh, 100 times. But I didn't yeah. think. I, I just get. I just wild park guessing, dude. I don't. I mean, exactly. Three times more because fucking nobody searches the fucking Chiefs. All right, so it's kind of the same realm with the same question I asked before, but now it's chief sales on StubHub. What do you think? Incre- increase. Chief sales. You're talking about more people wanting to go to a Chiefs game because yeah. Travis Kelsey is dating Taylor Swift. Yeah. I'm going to lose it, people. <laughs> this is fucking asinine. Oh, What's the question? 
How many more ticket buyers on StubHub? Yes. I don't fucking For care. The <laughs> I hope they all die. The I hope increase. they all die, dude. The increase. I hope a fucking earthquake hits in Kansas City next weekend, dude. And all of them Swifties just go fall through the crack to hell, dude. <laughs> Fuck them bitches. Josh, what you um, fucking answer? Uh... Fuck them bitches, dude. Had to go. How much percentage did it go up, or how many more tickets? Times like we did last time. How many times? Like oh, fucking five times. All right, Josh. Three times. Boom! Three times, right on the money. Three, three times, times increase in chief sales on stuff up, and Chiefs sold more tickets in a single day since the start of the season. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Since when that game aired? But yeah. nobody's offended that they're called the Chiefs because the Cleveland Indians have to change their name to the Guardians. You know what, Ashley? Uh, I was going to bring that up also. The Washington Commanders. Did you see they're getting sued? By who? The uh, Native American Association. But the Native Americans are suing them because they want the Redskins back because that, that used to honor That's yes. what I thought. Yes. yes. It used yes. to honor them. They like... And the, the logo they still keep on the side of the head or the head yeah. was a real chief. Yeah. And they're like, we love the games, man. Like, yeah. we loved y'all going into battle and, like, you know, doing, like, like Indian war games pretty yeah, much. Yeah, like, but dude, they like, ain't changing FSU, dude. The fucking Seminole Indians, no. dude, yeah. run out on that fucking field with the horse, dude. It's majestic. It I is bu- majestic. I don't even like FSU, but that shit's, that shit's, oh, uh, they be copying oh, the Braves and shit. Oh, oh, oh. I which, mean. Which one came first? The Braves, I probably the Braves. I think FSU did. I, I think FSU did. did yeah, FSU I th- did. I think yeah. they did it first. But, but they're not as big as the Braves, honestly. No, no, dude. No. The Braves are the South's fucking baseball. They're team. a yeah. major league team. We're yeah. not no fucking little Seminoles. No, get out of here, dude. I no. played that golf course at in FSU. That motherfucker, nice. FSU golf course, like yeah, their, their the, training the camp, course, the camp. Yeah, yeah. How'd you do that? Did you like fucking administrator there? Uh, <laughs> or did you get fucked in the ass there? No, I paid for it. <laughs> How'd you pay for it? So he got with, fucked. With money. <laughs> with $135. With bills in with my a, butt. With $135. Damn, that's not bad, though. I mean, for how nice it was, it really wasn't that bad. I highly recommend people play golf. Play on golf. a college course for $135? Dude, not play bad. golf in Tallahassee, dude. Tallahassee's got some fucking sick golf courses. Well, I don't play golf anymore, as you know. So what's going to take? Retire. Aren't you what's playing gonna... in a tournament this weekend? Yeah, you know, it's for charity. You know, I retired. I'm coming out of retirement. For coming a out bit of retirement a... for the kids. Yeah, for the kids, you know, and the, the handicap or whoever the fuck we're playing for. Oh, what's that one t-shirt? Somebody. It's like Swing for the Retard or something like that. <laughs> dude, that came out in <laughs> yeah. the 1980s? Yeah. yeah, it's the Swing for the Retard tournament, dude. Oh, yeah. I want that t-shirt so bad. That was a real thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was like this old golf tournament for like 79, but it was like swing, swing for the retards. For the retards. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God. Oh, I mean, shit. different different so time. Are we done with Chiefs? Are, are we done with the fucking Swifties and the Chiefs, dude? Yeah, that was all I had to give you on the That's Swifties fucking, and the Chiefs. That, dude, that shit pisses me off. Dude. That man, you know, he's already made a shit ton of money, though, already from oh, it. Oh, yeah. He so has the chief organization. I'll tell you what. Once you're a once you're a millionaire, it's easy to make a shit ton of money. Oh, obviously. He's a multimillionaire. Yeah. That shit, dude. Once you're turning fucking millions, dude. Uh oh. That shit snowballs. What'd you do? Where'd my paint tip go? <laughs> I'll tell you where it went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it. It's by your you're heel. About to step on right it. foot heel. It's right there. You can see. Oh. It. The best sound like some drum and bass over there. <laughs> that is. What's that sound like, Josh? It's more drum and bass. That sounds you like... You can make a song out of that. Sounds like when you get something stuck in your ass. No. Nah. <laughs> Someone else's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't like put light bulbs goose. in your ass. Light bulbs? Yeah, don't put light bulbs in your butt. It's just, it doesn't work out. You try to do you. that? I have not, no. Yeah, People right. have. It's and some of the more uncomfortable videos the, the, he's going to make me watch later. I could show you, but I mean, I'm not going <sighs> to... Josh, what does your therapist tell you? I don't have a therapist. You need one. Do you I have, have been, like I a have relationship been, I have been recu- therapist? No. I have been recommended to go see a therapist, but I have not gone see a therapist. I Who did that? A doctor? Huh? A I, doctor? I don't have a doctor. Oh, so personal friends and family members re- recommended yes. you see a... Co-workers, friends and family have recommended... Kim said, go to the doctor. <laughs> you need help. No, I she has I need hasn't. a doctor. 
You know that song? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, Eminem and Dr. Dre. Yes, but Pete, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think, I, I don't think I need a therapist, uh, dude. I mean, I cannot tell y'all how how irritated I am with this Swifty thing. Is it that that? Why why don't you like it? So irritating, much? dude. Because Taylor Swift is the fucking part of the Illuminati, dude. And so dude, you're scared else. about everything else said we're gonna get killed for. This is what we're gonna get killed for. Is you talking about Taylor Swift and her being? Fucking in the This is what will kill us. The Swifties are like an army. That is true. They are an army of their okay. own. Okay. Uh, fuck the Swifties, but whatever. They will flood you with vaginal juices. Death by Snoo Snoo? Yeah, fuck the Swifties. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Exactly a bunch of sorority want. girls. Yeah, oh no. Get them out of here. Oh no. Not Taylor Swift fans flooding <laughs> me with pussy juice. Not a bunch of Tridels. No. No, you'll drown. That's what they do. God, that'd be a good way to go. They form a wave. <laughs> Drowned in some... Oh, like I said, death by snooze It's like the few tribes. It's got to have a stench to it. Oh, oh, dude. It smells like the ocean. I think it fucking <laughs> does, dude. There's seagulls swarming over it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking pelican comes out of nowhere and catches a fish, dude. Crabs. 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 He's, he's catching crabs. He's catching crabs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, stanky pussy, man. We could talk about that for a while, but I think we'll talk about Josh's toes. No, I'm just kidding. What's wrong with my toes? My toes are fine. Thank you very much. Now, yeah. my tan line You do show fun. your toes a lot, dude. Though. That tan line's about to about to go uh, into hibernation. It's still there. It's, it may, it maintains through winter. That's crazy. Dude, are you ever worried about someone coming up to you with, like, a cigar cutter and just clipping one of your toes? We could have it really quick. I carry a, a cigar pistol. cutter. Yeah, you know, like dude, the you, end of the cigar. I don't, like, dude, I don't know if you were like, there or not. I don't, I don't right. know if you were there or not. But we were about to do the fucking uh, shaving cream and <laughs> tapping Josh on this side of the shoulder, yeah. and him looking this way, and then, and then when he looks back that way, whap, dude, this man. I don't. Who was there, dude? You know, Lucas did it. Was trying to do it to me, dude. You pulled a knife so fast. <laughs> he was gonna stab us. He was literally going to stab us. <laughs> you should have seen the look in his eye. He was going to stab us. Like, we, were like, we, we were like, whoa, bro. Like, like <laughs> please don't don't stab anybody. Did I stab anybody? But, but dude, the look, you should have seen. Did I, though? I should have took a picture of you. Probably the should've. look in your eye was, I'm going to see what your insides look like. Because I, I wonder what the inside of the body looks like. I've seen it now. <laughs> I, I've gotten my fill with people insides. I'm glad. Now you're feeling the inside of fish tanks. Yes. It's fantastic. Yes. I'm just wondering, like, you, you show your toes a lot. I don't know any other dude that shows your toes as much as you, Josh. You just, I you mean, I that love, during the day? I mean, I love my Birkenstocks, but Chacos, dude, the, man. The boots. Wait, wait, what'd you say, Brandon? I, I just see, Pride I, I, I see I see your toes a lot. Yes. I don't usually see a lot of men's toes a lot. But Please. yours are always showing, they flashing. Are. Yes. Which are not bad toes, you know. They're, they're not. They're not disfigured, fucked up. They're just normal. Normal. We'll toes. have to post a picture of your toes. No, see, I got to charge for that. You don't want to post pictures. I got, I got to charge. We got to do a little video of you just like no, fingering through them, like no, picking them up like piano keys. No free toe picks. Not happening. What? What can we get? Kneecaps. You can go to ankles. You look like a, a nice dainty person from your knees down. Like, oh yeah, I can take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I, you might just want to. I don't know if you could do your legs. So Maybe put like like oysters on them. Oysters, not barnacles. 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 Yeah, on the, like the sides. I can be like a, a Bill Turner bootstrap. from a yeah bootstrap Bill bootstrap. Turner <laughs> from a Pirates of the Caribbean bootstrap. Yeah, <laughs> that's his real name, Bill Turner. Yeah, because Will Turner was Will Turner. Yeah, and then. Bill Turner. Bill and Will. Was his dad. He How did they make that great leap to get from Will to Bill? Like, creative genius yeah, right there. Dude. That took some thought and some saying. money. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no free no free feet picks. Not happening. Nope, gotta pay for those. Special. How much to put a toe in your mouth and we send it to people? My toe in my yeah. mouth? I will do that. I'm not bad to put someone else's toe in my mouth. Well, how much? Five bucks a pop. Five oh shit. Well, how much for regular toe picks? Regular about, toe picks. I'm about to buy some tonight. Two fifty. Two. F- so you tell me for five dollars, I can get toe picks and you can be sucking on the toes. That'd be seven fifty. No, it's both. No, you said you said five bucks for a toe in the mouth. Uh huh. And two fifty for just a pick of all my toes. But if you got a toe in the mouth, you're gonna see the other toes. I'm pretty good with Photoshop. You're gonna crop, crop out the other toe. Yeah. So you're gonna get that big dude, toe. How much nub. money you, you think you can make if we could successfully Photoshop about about four more toes on each foot? 
What? Dude. You'd be Sandman. Dude, just like, you don't know how weird that one looks. I could do it on Photoshop. But could you make it look like an actual Yeah, real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. People oh. have that. One of my friends Here. actually has an extra toe on top of his foot. Dude, oh my God, dude. I had this girl. She was I've so sweet. That. Look. That's she not was, cool. She was. Wicked. I would cut it off. No, he, he likes it. Speak about cutting it off. I thought about using toenail clipper. But listen, this girl I had, she was so sweet. Indian girl, she had the full head wrap, and uh, she had, I, I shit you not, she had a little pinky coming out from her thumb. Yeah. And I just want to take a pair of fingernail clippers and just clip that motherfucker off. Does it, but it, does it have nerves? It came out, man. That's not it was cool. so weird, dude. I I was some, like, did it have a fingernail? I put some, yes. Nova, I put yeah. some Novocaine in that bitch so fast and just. Looked like a pterodactyl. Oh! I would clip that motherfucker. Does it have a bone? Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Gone. No, what some people do is you'll take like, you know, like the little testicle rubber bands you castrate animals with? You mean like the ones you... Tight rubber bands. Like tight, tight. Cock ring? No, for like animals. Like if you're castrating sheep or cattle. You'd, sure, sure. You should know this. And then you you just take it and you tie... Either you, use, you can use a dental floss or a fishing line and you tie it real tight and cut the circulation off and it just falls off. Really? It doesn't hurt. Yeah, you just tie it up and it falls off. Doesn't oh. hurt to who? Has nerve. You. Has nerve. Me. Has like nerves. If, but doesn't hurt. If I tie my balls mm. off tonight and they fall off in the morning, I can hurt. show you some instances where people have done that too. If you'd like to see, I know you can sell a testicle for about twenty grand a piece, though, right? A whole testicle? Yeah. Can you pass me that torch? Torch? Yeah. Hold on. I don't know how how you would harvest a successful testicle. They sell it though. They like cut the bag open. They get one out. Dude, I'm trying to go to Mexico and sell a kidney. Forty grand. Yours or someone else's? Forty grand. Don't you have two kidneys? You have to, yes, you have two kidneys. You can live without one, right? You can live with just one. I know people that have just one kidney. Yeah, you do. I do. They sell it for forty thousand, and they give it to no. Some they got ripped out of them. Person died because he was dead. Oh, yeah. oh, so they have you stupid. Who they have, me? They have no kidneys then. No, they have one kidney. If they're dead, they're not dead. The kidney they took out was dead. Oh, okay. So you're saying the person you knew had one kidney and they were dead? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay, I hear you. No, yeah, you, they just took it out. You don't need them. And the funny thing is, too, is if you're going to get well, a transplant. sell it? Because it was dead. It was necrotic. They had to get rid of it. Yeah. They got to get it going. It. Huh? Somebody will buy it. For what? Sausage? They ain't got time to buy it. Just they got to give it. it up, make yeah. some pepperoni out yeah, of it. dude, I bet somebody pay high dollar for that. Some satanic people. Honestly, though, probably so. Because, like, there's the case in Germany with that one dude who wanted the cannibal, and he paid the guy. So, like, I think he was, like, 20000 yeah, no, nah, you can get more for that for donating. But the dude was suicidal anyways, so he met up with a cannibal and was like, hey, look, I'm going to kill myself and you can eat my Where body. Where do you read these things? <laughs> Reddit? Is that on Reddit? Yeah, this no. is not on the normal news or like no, any is, normal this pre, outlet. This is this was pre-me Reddit. This is dark, dark web <laughs> article, dude. I don't know where I found this at. But this is uh, send a drop of your blood in and we'll send you a newsletter each week about all the fucked up shit going on. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be easy. Just a little Drop finger, a little, little finger prick, and yeah, you get all the news on all the weird things. They're gonna own you. No. They know your social security number if they get your blood. Do you know that, dude? Josh, do you remember in college when we got on the dark no. web? Ah, yes. And and yeah, dude, tell the story. Dude, tell the story. Oh. Yeah, so that shit was nuts. Yep. Yeah, in college, we were bored and had nothing to do, so I'm like, I'm gonna use my computer to go to the dark web because I knew some instances on how to go there, how to get there, this, that, and the other, how to get there somewhat safely, at least. And um, we got there safely. Yeah, we got there safely and everything, and we were kind of just looking around and checking. Should some, we tell people how to do it? No. You, yeah, if, if, you, if you're that interested, you can figure it out. Yeah, get to what you're hard. doing. So I was looking around. You find, your, of course, your normal things like you can buy credit cards, you can buy social security numbers, you can buy, like, um, drugs, all the normie stuff, I guess you could say. But then you can get to the really deep, dark side of it that you really shouldn't go that has bad things on it. Oh, I'll, leave it. Ass. I'll leave it. Nah. I'll leave it at that. CP. About to have a great clip, so, Josh. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Nah. Like CP. We were just trying to go on Silk Road. We were Yeah, we were just trying to yeah, like we weren't We were just trying to go on Silk Road. Silk Road, you can buy like an RPG. Yeah, you can buy machine like, guns, guns. For like thir- an RPG costs like thirty grand. So you're mm-hmm. trying to buy guns and you end up. We're not, we're not, we're trying, not trying, trying to buy, to buy anything. anything. Well, I'm so fucking confused now. You're we're just, just, we're just looking. We're, we're just, just looking. We're you just said we're trying to go on the sick road to buy guns, and you're talking about you're like, oh, we found CP. So no, we um, didn't find it. We, they, they, 
some of these places you can go to do that. So I'm saying don't go to the dark web if you don't have to. Okay, we'll get to what you're trying to find. Anyway, so we we're, we're not wrong. trying to find anything. We'll, we'll just, get to whatever you found. I don't I don't know what you're talking we about. We accidentally. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Accidentally. All right, whatever. What did you accidentally find? Please tell me. Somebody. Dude, we accidentally clicked a link. Okay. And a black screen pops up. The screen turns black. And the webcam turns on. Pops on. On our side. And all you hear is a dude breathing heavily. Oh, okay. Kind of creepy. So well, yeah, that is kind of creepy. Well, how old are y'all? We're eight. 18, oh, yeah. 19, 19, 18, 19. 19, 19 oh. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we I promptly Wham! Shut, and ripped the battery out. Bitch, rips the unplugged battery. it, tur- took the battery out of it. I'm like, nip, nip, we're done. Never doing that ever again. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, you get some hackers on there, I'm for sure. Worse. Well, that's what they are, hacking. You know, they're not hacking all, into your not shit. all of them. Well, the fucking dude that's breathing and watching y'all is definitely hacking your computer. Nah, he could have been doing something. He's probably just sitting there in the back and just... He might be... Uh, oh, two little boys, yeah. fresh. You never know, man. Can, Freshly man. legal. Do you, you remember? Know what? You remember we both got catfished on yes. Kick <laughs> by the same person. Yes. Dude? Oh, dude. Oh, it's, it's, you're you're gonna love this story. Someone we all know that someone sometimes over here when we get done recording, do yes. not say the name. Okay. Uh, he, he hit me up last night. He needed a hundred dollars, right? I said for what? He's like, I fucked up, or I'm in a situation. I'm like, what did you do? He's like, I sent news to this girl that I met on Instagram. Okay. And it turned out it was actually some dudes in the Middle East. What? And they're holding him ransom for $500 or they're going to send his nudes and all his uh, messages to all of his Instagram followers. <laughs> Did you give him $100? My Snapchat, my, my Cash App wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> he sent him 400 So $400. I don't know. $400? Yeah, I don't know. If they. I told him, I was like, dude, what? why would you send it to him? They're in the Middle East. I was like, first off, how did you get scammed? Into fucking sending. That's what I'm trying to say. To some girl. Some, he's bad, dude. He's bad. He's off. down bad. I guess he needs to go to fucking horny jail. He needs to go horny to. Jail. He needs, he needs to, go to go to horny pussy, jail. He needs to go to pussy anonymous, dude. That's how I know you're fucked up. Like when you're you got trapped and you're sending five hundred dollars to Muslims, dude. Because you fucking sent full body dick pics, face and all. Yes. Oh yeah, no, you can't be doing all that. <sighs> oh, dude, I was like, dude, that's you like a number one up. rule. Like, you just, you don't. That's some eighth grade shit right there. Yeah. That's what that is. is. Dude, he's bad off, man. (laughs) That's not good. He told me that. He came over last night. He was freaking out. I bet. He was like, where's my ID at? I was like, I don't know, dude. In his defense, though, not justifying any of that, what I'm saying, though, is is 2023, the age of deep fakes is upon us. That's what I told him. I said, just deny the fuck out of it. That's what I'm saying. You got two options. You get ahead of it and go ahead and post your dick. (laughs) <laughs> or number two, <laughs> deny the fuck out of it. But you got honestly, two though, options. <laughs> yeah, like just go ahead and delete your account. So they right hacked then his and there. Instagram. No, they messaged him from like this hot chick that had a bunch of followers right. and everything, but and they, they said, but they hacked his Instagram. No, they how said, are they going to post it? They're going to they're going to take the pictures that he sent to that fake girl. They obviously all know his nudes and messages, and they're going to send that to all of his followers. So all the people that follow him, he, they're just gonna DM them with all the <laughs> full body. But how how do they have his account? Because he messaged her on Instagram, if but they it's not have, really her; it's them. Yeah. So it's a bunch of dudes posing as this hot oh, chick. So so it's just like if you sent me a picture and I just sent it to all your followers. Yes, but it's a full yeah. full it's body. Like, it's like face if, and all. It's like if I was so there's no, to be there's, there's no yeah. hacking involved at all. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, it's just no, stupidity. It, yeah, it's like if I was a hot girl. <laughs> I was a hot girl, and I was like, "Hey, Sam, send me news. I'm gonna send you all these news, and I'll send you all these hot news." And you're like, Just "Google Fuck search them, yeah." And you're like, "Send me like, I want a full body baby." And you send like a bunch of angles of full body, and then they're like, "All right, you owe us five hundred dollars, and we're gonna leak these. We're gonna dox the fuck out of your ass." <laughs> yeah. What the hell? But, but that's what you thought. But ha- but but okay. So after you pay five hundred dollars, they can still leak them. Yes, that's what I told him. Exactly. I said, I said, "Do not pay that money." And he's like, I already paid four hundred. <laughs> God. <laughs> Like, dude, just, what? I don't know. I, I don't so, want... if y'all get a dick pic from him in the next few days, you know what's going on. Can you not unsend something? No, they screenshotted it. At everything he sent, they screenshotted it as he sent it. Why would you do that? Dude, this is, <laughs> this is hilarious. Where did he think that was going to go? I don't know, dude. Was it like some famous chick? No, it's just, I mean, it was probably just like a random chick that had like well, dude, a couple saw... thousand followers. Dude, a bunch I... of... dude, have you seen his DMs? Jacob's? Dude, yeah, I don't mind it, Josh. All right. 
<laughs> you, you, you're the second worst about that now. You got August. Dude, I've only first. done it once. August, I've never. August done it. is terrible. At he it, is dude. bad about it. Anyway, so we can bleep that out, thankfully. So, have I seen his DMs? Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Oh Are they bad? They go on for first pages. It, about it, like, About like what? He's just DMing bitches, dude. Like anything. Fucking. He's he's. You can scroll. You can just scroll, 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 and they're all recent, like recent, recent, recent. What is scroll, he thinking? Scroll, scroll, scroll. What are you trying to get hundreds, with that? Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Well, what are you but, trying to? What are you trying to accomplish? I don't know, but I think he's trying to fuck bitches. It's yeah, probably like God, dude. Go buy a flashlight or something. Fuck, dude. These I, dudes' business idea is fucking fantastic, though. I want to. I want to start doing the guy this business is doing. Basically, you find a girl. And a hot girl, and you have them DM, and they send that. You get that dude to send nudes, and you tell that girl, "We'll pay you two fifty, and we're gonna keep two fifty. And then the dudes just do all the bargaining, like, "Dude, we're about to expose you. We're gonna send you to everybody." That's a great business model, right so there. So basically, pimping in twenty twenty three. Yes, how online you, pimping. How do you think fucking Andrew Tate and his brother got so much money? They yeah, but they created, were bribing people. They created webcam girls. Yeah. Yes, but. This is different. This is you. You have a girl that's already this is established. Extortion. Yes, you have a girl. That, <laughs> you this have is a girl against the law. You have a girl that's already established. You tell her. You tell her. Be like, hey, get nude from this guy, and we'll pay you two hundred fifty dollars. But but if they got OnlyFans, then they're already making. No, you're not understanding me. You you find <laughs> you find a regular girl. It's got twenty three hundred followers. You know, a small amount of followers on Instagram. You approach her, you DM her, say, right. we will pay you 250 for all the dick pics that you get in your DMs. And you, with the name, Instagram name of those guys, and she says, okay, sh- you pay her 250 you get these dick pics, and you get the name of the guy. And then you hit the guy up, say, hey, look, you send him the dick pics. Like, we have your dick pics and all your messages. We're going to expose you. We're going to send it to all your followers unless you pay us $500. So that girl gets the two fifty, yeah. and you get two fifty. You do that five times a day, you fucking rolling, baby. That's and as far as I know, I think it's just called revenge porn. There ain't nothing against it. No laws, right? Yeah, yeah blackmail and extortion. Blackmail and extortion. That's really? that's yeah. totally against the law. What you yeah. just talked about. All right. Well, we're not gonna do it as far as this camera knows, but no, we're not doing it at all. Yeah, we're not doing. Nobody it. No. associated yeah, with me no. anything. This guy said. No, no, we're not doing it. We're just kidding. <laughs> We're just kidding. In Minecraft. All right, well, we go on an hour and a half. Y'all got anything left before we get on out of here? No, nah, just uh, y'all have a good rest of your week. You got a Flappy Bird shirt on. Yeah, it's uh, not a Flappy Bird shirt. It's, it's a, a Duck Hunter, Hunter shirt. It's, it's a, a Duck du- Oh, it's that Duck Hunter shirt. Okay. Yeah. Josh, you got anything before we get out of here? Well, it's Duck Hunter, but it says Public Land Hunter Entertainment for All. So like, I like that. Go hunt Public Land, y'all. Ain't no nut on that yet. If you, get first if, you, in the line. if you hunt, go go hunt public land. That's all I got to say. Yeah. So in doing so, by hunting public land, you are then able to touch grass. Okay. Yeah. So please, go yeah. hunt public yeah, land. Yeah, go hunting, man. All hey. right. Do all your uh, uh, extortions and everything. No, we'll see you next God. week. Bye. <laughs>